There are very simple things like singing a song that can reconnect people to their ancestry, but also to others. And because we all have different cultural ancestries, to be able to cherish that and to be inclusive and to, um, to, have, um, to understand the value of doing that together is a way for me of, of working towards reconciliation together. My name is Virginie Mania. I come from uh, Occitania, which is a southern region in France. And uh, I work here on this campus in the Faculty of Creative and Critical Studies on the traditional, ancestral and unceded territory of the Silks people. And that's been very important for me, uh, being a, 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 you know, an educator and a researcher here. Um, so over the last decade, my research has been quite informed by um, indigenous methodologies and epistemologies, so ways of knowing and being. Currently, I co-lead a uh, international research cluster with um, Dr. Karen Ragunaden, who's an education professor at UBC Okanagan. And uh, there's uh, four Canadian members in this cluster, three of them uh, self-identify as indigenous, and six European uh, cluster members, so it's quite international. Uh, and what we work on is uh, the interconnection between culture, creativity, health and well-being. One of the things we focus on is uh, how do we conduct research in the post-TRC era in Canada? Uh, how do we um, decolonize the academy? So I'm really interested in uh, performance-based cultural practices that are um, conducive to creating more solidarity, inclusivity, um, social justice. Because performance practices are relational and they're embodied, it means you have to be connected to people. I've been doing a lot of work on songs and singing. The last project that I uh, um, developed in collaboration with an indigenous advisory committee um, seven members who were elders, traditional knowledge keepers, um, indigenous scholars and artists, um, and also four uh, graduate students, graduate research assistants. Two of them were indigenous. They were actually Silks Okanagan students uh, who were pursuing MFA um, degrees here at UBC Okanagan and two PhD students from UBC Vancouver who were pursuing studies in ethnomusicology and theater. So with this group of collaborators, we created uh, a number of gatherings, singing circles here at UBC Okanagan, at SFU, at UBC Vancouver, the First Nations Longhouse, and also workshops. Um, and we filmed some of these events. And there's a film that's hosted on the Institute of uh, Community Engaged Research uh, at UBC Okanagan uh, on the website that people can watch if they're interested. One of the things I've been doing also is researching my own tradition. So I said uh, I, I come from Occitania, which people don't really maybe know about, but it's a, a place in the south of France where people spoke uh, a, a language which is almost extinct, Occitan. And so I've been learning songs in that language to learn the language of my ancestors. Um, so this is a way to explain how, you know, there are very simple things like singing a song that can reconnect people to their ancestry, but also to others. And because we all have different cultural ancestries, to be able to cherish that and to be inclusive and to, um, to, have, um, to understand the value of doing that together is a way for me of, of working towards reconciliation together. Uh, in 2020, which was a very difficult year for all of us, uh, I published a book, my second monograph, called The Performative Power of Vocality, and I wanted to share with you this beautiful painting by Daphne Oje, which is uh, titled Power Singers. Um, so in this book, I discuss the project I just talked about. So in 2022, uh, to continue uh, my work on vocality, I would like to invite um, people to come together and exchange through dialogue and workshops their knowledge about singing and I'm really interested in traditional songs. Um, so this is a call to people who might be interested in participating in this gathering. And then also uh, we're going to be expanding our international research cluster on culture, creativity, health and well-being, um, trying to involve uh, more community members, artists, um, 
and, and indigenous partners. So again, if you're interested, uh, be in contact with us um, and let us know if you have ideas for projects that we would love to develop in partnership with you.